What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a video series. They might not be all at once, but eventually in my playlist tab, I'm gonna have a section on top favorites. And you'll notice it says top five, but if you're looking, there are six Bibles here. And that's because I'm gonna narrow it down to five, but there may be some honorable mentions in these top favorite videos. So this one has one of those. So we are looking here at reference Bibles. So I'm picking my top five favorite reference Bibles. And now this is not really focusing on the layouts as much as just reference Bibles that I use constantly. And so there may be some other layouts out there that I might enjoy, but I don't either have Bibles of those or I'm just not using them. So as of 2024, at the beginning of the year, these five are going to be the ones that I am either currently using right now or plan on using this year. First up is the New King James Classic Verse by Verse Center Column Reference Bible. Now, if you've watched my channel, you'll see in the videos and I've made comments before, this has only recently become my favorite Bible in terms of reference Bibles, and that's because I didn't used to like center column references. Now I do, I'm not gonna get into that here, but I do have uh, reviews of these Bibles that I will post in the description. This is a very classic design, that's hence the name of this Bible. This one is produced by Thomas Nelson, and as far as I know, they only have it in the New King James right now, but it's a verse by verse, 10 point. They have their comfort print for the New King James, which is one of my favorites. It's red accents, so you have red accents for the uh, verses, and then also the cross references in the center column. They're very well divided, and so you can see the top half refers to this half of the text, and then the bottom half is for this half, and it's relatively divided into the same organization. So verse 12 is going to be at the top, verse 15 is going to be in the middle. Very easy to locate the passages, really beautiful layout. I don't, I really like that there's no lines in between the cross references and the text. They just did a really great job. This one is red letter. And as you can see, I have been using it quite extensively this year. Red letter is pretty good. And overall, it is a very good reference Bible. This one does have a concordance. And you can see that the overall size, it is on a larger size, so take that into account. But in terms of just functionality, this is by far my favorite right now. As with the first one, my number two really wouldn't have been on my list a year ago, but this is the compact center column reference Bible from Thomas Nelson, also in the New King James, and I have done a video on this one before. This one here is a rebind that I did to practice my rebinding skills, so if you go back and watch that video, this is the Leather Soft Edition, so it's had a facelift since then. But the cool thing about this one is it is also verse by verse, not the same page numbering as the classic, but it does have an eight point verse by verse layout. It looks really great. The paper is really good for a Bible this small. And you can see it does have a line separating the text from the cross references, but I think that was necessary in so small of a Bible. And then also the color is all black, there's no red accents. So that's kind of a downside, but I get it in terms of a more compact, user-friendly, on-the-go Bible. It doesn't need all those extra features, and I found it to be very useful, despite the lack of red accents. Words of Christ are in red, but that's the only thing. This one does have a concordance as well, and it has that tiny five, four and a half by five and a half sort of layout. So really small and compact but great for referencing. My number three has actually been my daily driver for the last couple of years, and this is the CSB verse-by-verse -verse wide margin reference Bible from Holman. This one is in the black goatskin from their handcrafted collection, but they do have it in a bonded leather, and now they have it in a calf skin and a brown goatskin as well. So this is a really great Bible. It is, again, just like the first one, a little bit bigger, and it's a little bit thinner than the New King James, but it is a little bit bulky. So it's kind of what you're gonna get with some of these bigger reference Bibles. Again, this one is a 10 point verse by verse. The difference here is that it's a double column with the cross references under the bottom of the right hand column on all of the pages. It also has red accents for the verse numbers and then the cross reference numbers and then a red line separates the textual footnotes. I really like when the footnotes are separated from the cross-references. 
This one does have wide margins, so that makes it really nice for note taking, which is what I have done with this Bible. And really it's the main note taking Bible that I have, which is partly why I like it so much, is because I've become very familiar with it. So definitely one of my tops in terms of a reference Bible. I know number four looks like two Bibles, but technically in the grand scheme of things, this is one Bible in multiple options. And so this is the Schuyler Quintel. This one, the big one here is an ESV. The smaller one is a New American Standard. I just put them together for the same color, but they do have matching colors in most of their translations. But the cool thing about these is that the personal size Quintels are the same pagination as the Quintels. So you can really get two different size Bibles and also the wide margin with the same layout and get basically the same Bible with different font sizes. But we're gonna look at the Quintel. So this is a more popular design of reference Bible that I've seen in the last few years. And that is a double column paragraph format with the verse references at the bottom of the page all bunched together. And it's become really popular. And I actually like it because a lot of the time I just like to read the text and so I'm not using cross references, but in the event that I want to use them, they are there in the Bible, but not right next to all of the text and kind of cluttering up. So that's one reason I took so long to like the center column reference because I just like reading a lot of the time. So the Quintel is an 11 point font and it does read a little bit bigger than that. And so it is a very, large print technically. The textual footnotes are separated from the cross references again with a line. This one's a little bit different than some of the others. The only the chapter numbers are read, but the cross references referring to the text are read. So your verse numbers throughout the columns are black, but the cross references are red. So it's kind of a mix between the red accents, but again, Kind of a classic this one's representing kind of a larger span of reference bibles that have this layout but this is one that i've actually not used a whole lot i've used my personal size quintel but i'm going to start using this one a lot more so this one does get a little bit bigger about a little over an inch thick by nine by six ish wide so on the larger side but it is definitely a very common and very enjoyable layout Number five is the New American Standard. This is in the 2020 Wide Margin Reference Bible from the Lockman Foundation. This one is kind of a revolutionary new line of Bible, and that is because Schuyler released the New American Standard Striden in the premium line, and Lockman wanted to offer a cheaper version of the same layout so that people could afford it and be able to get this layout uh, more accessibly. And so this is a 10 point verse by verse single column reference Bible, but it's a little bit unique in that it is for one single column, but two, the, it has the same design as the last, the Quintel that I just showed because the textual footnotes and cross references are at the bottom. This one separates them a little bit differently by a line going vertically. And then you have your textual footnotes on the outer margin and the cross references on the inner, but they're all below the text. So this kind of sets it apart a little bit different and like the CSB, it has wide margins, so it's very good for note taking, but then it has a very reference friendly layout. So I've really um, liked this one. I haven't used it that much, but I can only read so many Bibles at a time. So this is one that I've really loved the design ever since it came out and I'm planning to use this one a lot more, but I had to mention it because it is one of my favorites and in my top five for this year. My honorable mention is kind of funny because I thought I'd be using this one a lot by now. This is the newly released New King James single column verse by verse reference Bible from Thomas Nelson, and it's been highly anticipated as a text block. I was looking forward to it. I still really love it, but I haven't actually been using it really at all, even though I did rebind a copy of mine. So now it has a nice premium cover. I haven't been using it that much, but I wanted to point it out because this is a really great layout and kind of is the middle of the road for some of the ones that I've shown already. 
So this is a nine point comfort print in the New King James. It is a black letter, so there's no red accents, although the words of Christ are in red. And it does have a nice inset verses. And then the cross references and textual footnotes are in the gutter, so they're in the center. So it's also considered an inside column reference. So it's in the inside. It makes it easy, especially for a single column. The text is in the center of the page. It's not into the gutter and the references are on the outside. Really like the look. Maybe someday I will start using this more and it'll become more of my favorite. But for now, it's just an honorable mention because I think it's very important to note it, but I'm personally not using it right now. So those are my top five reference Bibles plus an honorable mention. Obviously, favorite videos are very subjective to the reviewer, but hopefully these were some that interested you and maybe there was one in here that you thought was a layout that you might like. So I will have links to where to purchase some of these. None of them are affiliate and also the reviews that I've done on all these Bibles in case you want to look at them a little bit more. So thanks for watching and I look forward to making another video in my top favorites list.